How did you feel about his his play? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Go to the toilet if you want, mate. It's fine. We'll just keep chatting. One last question before we ask the final question. Um, Where do your goals lie now as a drummer? Is it becoming more and more education focused? Or have you got one more big tour in you or something? To get that work, you have to be competing in it. Okay, so to be getting the big tours, to be comp- getting into the the auditions where there's big stuff happening, you have to be kind of competing in those arenas. You don't just, you know, it doesn't just happen. Um, and and I'm not competing in those circles currently, anyway. Um, <clears throat> it it is something that I I I think about a bit. Um, it's something I've started making some, you know, just just chatting to people. It, things move quite quickly on in that in that scene, you know, it, it, it changes. Um, so, no, it's something I'd definitely be, I'm, 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 I, it's not something I've thrown the towel in, and I'm, I, I still work in professional playing circles, um, not just in the UK, but, but around the world. So it's something I'm still very, very interested in, but, you know, I'd, it, it, it wouldn't just be a gig for gig's sake. And like I say, it's, it's really tough because you have to be working in those circles to to get to be getting those kind of calls or to be getting even the info sometimes um, about about that type of stuff. So um, more and more over the last few years, it's moved into the to the educational stuff and working with brands more on, from from in that kind of capacity as well, um, bringing that kind of area of specialism and expertise to to brands to be able to kind of demonstrate things for. For brands, we've just been working on some really exciting stuff with um, with Natal, and there's some quite exciting conversations going on with with a few other uh, kind of bits and bobs at the moment. Um, and things change, you know, like li- life changes. I've got a family. Um, I've got I've got young kids that I I want to um, I want to see and I want to be around and I want to be a, 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 a an equal part of their life. I don't want to be away for six weeks, eight weeks. I I just don't. I would rather be a father. Um, I, for me, that's more important um, in in life terms as a life goal, if you like, as a as a as a life goal. My 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 most important um, objective is to is to be a good father, and therefore I have to be able to work in a way that allows me to do that. Um, so so that's that's kind of to come full circle and to speak uh, frankly on it. That would be. That would be my response to that. It's not. I'm not ruling all of those kind of things out, but but at the same time, I you know you have to be realistic. It's, it's something I speak to students about. You know, you, you, if you're going to compete, you you you've got to be in the in those circles. You've got to be going and 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 hanging out. You've got to be meeting people. You've got to be going to the gigs. You've got to find a gig. You've got to do your thing. Um, so yeah, that's where I that's where I am on that. Brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That's a curveball. You ask that to everyone. Yeah. You've not been listening. Why have I not seen that last question? You give up 20 minutes here and ask, pause this, get rid of this. I've had enough of this now. 